Welcome back to episode 7 of the Metric, Fa uh, Metric Fasteners Comparison Series vlog here. Uh, we are continuing with our washers series, right? So, so far in this washer series, we've discussed how DIN 125A compares to ISO 7089 and how DIN 125B compares to ISO 7090. Uh, and so that was it for like, you know, the regular plain washers. Um, and then we also talked about how DIN 9021 compares to the ISO 7093, right? Remember, that was that large series washer. Um, and, uh, and then remember, we also kind of hinted at how there's, it gets a little bit more technical that the DIN 9021A compares to the ISO 7093 Part 1, and that the DIN 9021B compares to the ISO 7093 Part uh, 2. Um, but don't let that confuse you uh, because, as we discussed, it's not necessarily an important distinction, right? Um, and so, and you know, as we've gone through this series, uh, or well, today we're going to be talking about the small series washers, DIN 433 and its ISO counterpart, right? Um, and as with the previous episodes, really the, the biggest difference that we've seen uh, between these washers and the DIN and the ISO standards is the hardnesses that are available. With the DIN standards being available at that 140 HP hardness and the ISO standards being available at the 200 to 300 HP hardness, right? And then remember what those hardnesses are good for, that the 200 HP hardness is good for steel up to and including 8.8, .8, whereas the 300 HP hardness is what is recommended for steels above 8.8, .8, so particularly maybe your 9.8 or 10.9 or 12.9, right? And so, uh, and so remember with that larger uh, series uh, washer that the outer diameter was approximately three times larger than the inside diameter, right? So the OD versus the ID, and that's what made it different from the DIN 125, right? And so that was the difference between that. Now today, as we talk about the DIN 433s, again, that's kind of the big difference in, as far as being the differences between those DIN. The difference between the DIN 433 and the 125 is that the DIN 433 has a smaller OD. So the outside diameter, it's a bit thinner of a washer in that the outside diameter is smaller um, relative to the ID than say a DIN 125, right? And so let's talk about that ISO difference, okay? So the ISO counterpart to DIN 433 is ISO 7092, right? So DIN 433, ISO 7092. And, uh, and again, as with the other washers, you know, again, it comes down to hardness. That dimensionally, at all diameters, that DIN 433 and ISO 7092 are the exact same, okay? But the hardnesses are different with, you know, again, DIN 43, 433 being available in that 140 HP hardness, whereas the ISO 7092 is going to be available in the 200 or the 300 HP hardness. Um, that's the main difference. The uh, Really the only other difference is that ISO 7092, for whatever reason, emitted a few sizes. Um, so the M1, the M1.3, and the M1.5, so again, 1, 1.3, 1.5. Those three sizes were omitted, they were omitted from the uh, ISO 7092. So now ISO 7092s are available generally from stock in the range of M1.6 to M36 inclusive, right? So 1.6 to 36. Um, another thing I'd like to point out that I think uh, could be helpful, um, uh, particularly with washers and, uh, and really with all of these washers, uh, and as far as the difference between DIN and ISO, and this often gets confusing for customers that are coming to us, um, is how we label them. That with the DIN washers, we actually label them based on the size of the ID, so that inner diameter itself. So if you come to me looking for an M6 DIN 433, I'm probably going to send you an offer for an M6.4 DIN 433 because the M6.4 is the diameter of the, that inside diameter of the M6 DIN 433. As opposed to the ISOs, the ISOs or washers are actually labeled based upon the bolts that they're meant to fit, right? So for example, uh, you're coming to me for that M6 ISO 7092, right? The, the DIN 433 counterpart, ISO 7092, then it's probably just going to be labeled M6 ISO 7092 because again, that's just how it's labeled. So again, DINs are labeled based upon the inner diameter, 
nice to this or label based upon the bolt or screw that it's meant to fit. Okay, um, and I'll give you one more example just to drive that home. Say you request a uh, M20 DIN 433, right? I will probably offer you an M21 DIN 433, all right? That's the washer that's made for the M20 bolts, okay? It provides a little bit of extra room just to make sure that that bolt can fit inside of it, all right? But if you uh, come to me looking for that M20 ISO 7092, then I'm probably, it's probably going to be labeled an M20 ISO 7092, right? Um, and so that's just a small distinction, but it is important to keep in mind, uh, like I said, that can be confusing for, for some of our customers. We have a lot of people come to us with, with questions for that. And, uh, and so guys, that's really it for today. Um, you know, the, the, remember the main takeaway from today's lesson, again, is the differences in the hardnesses that the bins tend to be available at 140 HV, whereas the ISOs tend to be available in the 200 and 300 HV. Um, and then how they're labeled, right? Or the DINs being labeled by the ID. So you might get, you know, something that's uh, 0.2 to a millimeter larger than like what it is that you requested and the offer back to you. That's totally normal, okay? Um, and then the ISOs are labeled based upon the bolt that they fit. So it should be the size that you requested, okay? Um, and so, uh, and so next time, uh, guys, I've got a good video for y'all. where We're going to be talking about the washed up washer. Right, and so those are going to be washers that um, that are dent, that used that are old DIN standards um, that are still circulating. People are still looking for looking for, but they don't have any ISO counterparts, um, and most of them, except for maybe one, have been withdrawn. Right, so so that's what we'll be at uh, next time, guys. As always, feel free to contact me personally at London at EurolinkFSS.com with any questions or, of course, requests for quotes. And check out the Euralink website, right? Um, to view any metric faster and comparison videos, all of our videos are posted on the blog on the site. And then, as I've said before, if you go to the blog and you go to news, go to blog, and you click on, is it? Mm -hmm. There we go. And you click on the blog, and you'll be able to go, uh, go to download lesson plan, and you'll be able to pull up the lesson plans that you know that we're using today and we've been building, all right? Guys, have a great day.